Hey guys, it's Blue Jay Artist, and um, I just wanted to talk about the fact that um, how these three characters, um, Ashford, Thistleclaw, and Maple Shade, um, where they were placed in uh, in their afterlife. And uh, just before I start this, I may bring up some points that are very similar to um, Bloody Ravenheart 13 because she has a similar rant to this and um, I do agree with her a lot on this subject. So may I will, her opinions are similar, my opinions are similar to hers. So I'm not trying to copy her or steal her ideas. I'm just stating what I think because I agree with her. Um <clears throat> Anyway, let's get this started. So, first I'm going to rant about Ashfur and how he even got into Star Clan. Um, my, uh, my thought about why this even happened was probably because the fans. I'm just gonna say it. Because I think if they had made him go to the Dark Forest, people would have been like, Oh, but he just, he really just loves Squirrel Flight, and he just loved her, and he felt so betrayed when he did, and how could you, Aaron Hunters? I hate you. I'm going to stop reading the series. And I think that would have happened if they had made Ashford go to Dark Land, or even go to the Dark Forest. And the other thing I can think of is that what purpose would he have served in the Dark Forest? Like, all of the people in the Dark Forest are like, killers, and ugh, blood, yum. Um... But uh, he just was... People say he went insane from love, and I'll talk about that. But if he really did, and yeah, he tried to kill like four other cats, but I just... I don't know. He didn't seem as vicious as like Tiger Star or Broken Star or whatever. So I, I guess he wouldn't have served a purpose there. I think that's also why. But let's talk about why he, even, why he sh shouldn't be allowed in Star Clan. So let's start off with the fact... That just because she didn't want to be mates with him, she still wanted to be friends, let me note. And, but yet he ignored her. And so he thought that the first result is, this stranger comes along from your rival clan and says, Hey, I can help you with your relationship issues. So I'm going to kill the leader, who also appears to be your ex-girlfriend, not even ex-girlfriend, like, person who you loved who re rejected, and not really even rejected, person you loved who loved someone else. Father, so, you want to help me? And, of course, Ash, for being the stupid person he is, was like, yeah, I want to murder my leader, and, yeah, that will totally seem loyal to me and show that I love Squirrel Flight so much and that I will sacrifice so much for her. And that failed because Brambleclaw is better than you, and he defeated Hawk Frost, and Hawk Frost died, and... You know, at Firestar lived, he just lost a life, and, I mean, maybe he didn't, but whatever. Um, and then we go to the do, to um, the Power of Three, where Firestar thinks it's the bright idea to give um, Ashfur Lionpaw as his apprentice. And, of course, you know, he seems okay in the beginning, but then I think Lionpaw starts to annoy him even more, or mentions, I don't know, mentions something that gets him ticked off. So he, like... They straight up have, like, this giant fight, and, like, they're clawing each other and biting each other, and Firestar has to break it up. I mean, jeez, you guys. Um, so we show his hang anger for Squirrel Flight's kits, like, there a little bit. And I remember a scene, it might have been when all the cats are sick, and, like, Brambleclaw, by mistake, might have put Ashfur on, like, two patrols, and Ashfur was like, oh, well, you put me on two patrols dummy, and why did you do that? And Squirrel Flight was like, hey, you want to be the deputy... And you're tired, and you're trying to have all these have all these cats in order. Just back off. And then, like, I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was Jay Feather. He said he could note, like, tension between them, as if there was some kind of feud or something like that. I don't remember what book it was, but I knew it was when they were all sick. And that was a little bit, too. That was, like, a little tidbit. And then, I don't... I think I forgot about those two things, because out of nowhere, you know, they're trying to get out of the camp, fire, woo, and then all of a sudden, Ashford, like... You shall not pass. And, you know, he's like, oh, okay, so here's the story. I'm going to talk about all this emo stuff and about how you betrayed me. And now I'm just going to, uh, you know, kill your kits. Because, obviously, 
you know, my love to for you is equal to your love for your quote-unquote kids. And, of course, Squirrel Flight says, you know, you're a dummy. They're not my kids. And, yes, that wasn't the smartest thing to do. I get it. But it was just because, well, so Ashford wouldn't kill them. So he had nothing to use against her so they wouldn't be killed. So... You know, and then he's going, he is so, like, no matter, I think almost every single character tries to go, like, Ashford, you're stupid, don't do this. You will mess up Thunderclan's reputation, you'll mess up the Firestar's reputation, you'll do everything to mess up our system, and Ashford's like, screw you, I'm still gonna tell everyone. And this results to Holly Leaf killing him. And for some reason, he goes to Star Clan. And this is where I'm going to... And there, I love I love their excuse. He loved too much. Directly from Yellowfang. Like, what, what purpose does that serve? I just... I don't... How is that even an excuse? He didn't love too much. He said that he had... Like, when he said, Oh, my anger's not towards Brambleclaw, it's towards you. So he hated her in the end. How is that loving too much? I just, I don't get it. And this is a perfect transition to the, my Thistleclaw part of the rant. So, Thistleclaw, to me, I'm I'm totally agreeing with Bloody Ravenheart here. He was never really, really evil. Yeah, he did have ambitions to be leader, but did he kill anybody to get it? No, he wasn't like Tigerclaw. Did he kill Bluefur? No. Did he kill Sunstar? No. He didn't even kill Pinestar. I mean... There was, like, no purpose. There was no purpose for having him, I don't know, because really all that happened was he was arrogant, and of course, Blue Star hated him, so through her eyes, she's like, oh, he's so arrogant and stupid, I hate him. So that makes us want to hate him because our main character hates him. But really all he did was be a cocky apprentice. Then he was mixed with Snowfur, and then Snowfur died tragically. He blamed Blue Fur, and then he just... Kinda, he had no more passion in his, or he had no more love in his life. Like, Snowfur was dead, and White Storm wasn't in his life anymore. So, I think that's, I just, that's, I think, really, just, I don't get it. Because this old claw, I'm not gonna have the excuse of saying, oh, it's just because he was heartbroken. I think that was part of it, but that's not the main reason why Thistleclaw was like that. I think it was the heartbreak, but not as much as the fact that he just had nothing to lose. His mate was dead. His sis, one of his sisters was dead. Um, his one, his only son, be and really just didn't. I don't. He didn't play with him or anything, or you know, actually learn to get know his son. It was because of Blue Star. Really, Blue Star is the enemy here. She didn't like him and Snow for being together. She didn't like um, having White Kid around him. She didn't like him being the deputy. I mean, he just seemed really arrogant and cocky. And when Snow for and White Kid kind of disappeared from his life, all he had was fighting and training Tiger Paw, and that's all he had. Really, that's just all he had. And I mean, I'm not saying he went insane, but he just had nothing else with his life. So he filled that empty hole in his heart with ambition and kind of like Blue Fur. She had nothing left. Her mom died. Her sister died. Her One of her kids died. She had to give away her kids. She had to give away her mate. I mean, it was she gave up everything so she could have ambitions and be leader. Isn't that what kind of Thistleclaw did too? But it's just in a little bit of a different way. I just, I don't understand. And, okay, so that's my Thistleclaw part. So now I'm going to talk about Maple Shade. So I know there's going to be an ebook, and when the ebook comes out, and this might seem kind of old, and don't come on this rant to be like, this is so false, you should read the ebook, stupid. Because, you know what? If this is false someday, then me talking about, I might even, I'm probably going to make a rant about the ebook because I have a feeling they're not going to do it very well. But, we don't know Maple Shade's exact backstory. So, most of the fandom has guessed that maybe she... Okay, so we know that she was mates 
with a cat in River or er, and yeah, in River Clan, and she was on Thunder Clan, and her clan found out, and they kicked her out, and then she took her kids across the river, and they all died, and her mate blamed her, and then she was a rogue, but um. Excuse me, nobody really knew what happened to her. Like, why is she in the dark forest? Did she murder her mate? Did she murder his his mate, his new mate in River Clan? What did she do? Like, what did she do wrong? And it seems like mo- if we are going by the guesses that she killed her mate or something, or she did something to people he loved, like his mate or the kids that he had or whatever, hmm. Who does that sound like? Maybe she loved too much. Why is she in the Dark Forest? And Ashfur is in Star Clan. And my main reason is fan service, but I could be wrong. And I don't know, Maple Shade is very, very deceit. She's probably one of my favorites because she's just so different from all of them. Like she's she's a mystery. She's very taunting and very clever with how she does things. Yeah, Tiger Star was too, and Broken Star, but still, they were more murderous, and she's more, like, clever and intimidating than them. I think that's what makes me like her more. And it's just stupid, because if we're going off what we think, then she did the exact same things as Ashfur, or similar things to Ashfur, and yet she's in the Dark Forest, and he's being worshipped in Star Clan. And you know what, Maple? If we're gonna make the argument of, oh, well, Ashford can see his mommy again and his sister's there too, blah, 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 blah. Why isn't Maple Shade in Star Clan? I'm guessing her kits that she accidentally drowned are in Star Clan. Like, why can't she go see them and be happy with them? Or what if Apple Dust still has feelings for her? What if he wants to see her again, but she can't? Also similar to Thistleclaw, because he got... I forgot to talk about this. I'm sorry. Um, Thistleclaw got separated from Snowfur. He was in Star Clan first. And then Blue Star, because she's stupid, kicked him out. And it's so stupid, because he was finally happy. He was finally with Snowfur again. For all that torment and tragedy, he was with her again. And Blue is like, LOL, nope. Like, how did she... It's just... It's so stupid. And he's... It's stupid. I don't... It serves no purpose. We already have enough Dark Forest cats there. Like, yeah, he killed Ampel. That's it. I just... It's stupid. I think that Thistleclaw should trade places with Ashfur, and I do not know about Maple Shade, so I can't say anything for her, but... Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's this rant, so thanks for listening. Bye.